Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. So in today's video what we're going to be going over and covering is the Nanite system which is new to Unreal Engine 5. So what we're going to be going over today is very quick and basic of just how to enable it and how to use it in your projects to make your games run a lot smoother and to allow you to have a lot more detail within your game and again keeping the same efficiency if not making it run better. So firstly what is Nanite? So I'm going to be using the definition on the Unreal Engine 5 documentation and that says Nanite is Unreal Engine 5's virtualized geometry system which uses a new internal mesh format and rendering technology to render pixel scale detail and high object counts. It intelligently does work on only the detail that can be perceived and no more. Nanite's data format is also highly compressed and supports fine grained streaming with automatic level of detail. So essentially what you can gather from that is it's only going to render what we need to see it has automatic LODs, which is a video I went over recently, but Nanite does it for us automatically. And what it doesn't mention on there, but what this allows us to do, is this means we can have millions and millions, if not trillions, of triangles and polys in one scene without it lagging the game at all, which was unheard of before, at least for us indie devs. So this is what we're going over and creating today. So without further ado, let me show you how we're going to do this. So what we need to do first is we need to make sure we can actually use Nanite in our projects. So two things you need to make sure you've got is one, you need to be in Unreal Engine 5. So that should look something like we've got on screen now. And secondly, you need to make sure you've got DirectX 12 enabled. A quick way to see if you have is hover over the project name up in the top right, mine's just Nanite. And you can see at the bottom of this new pop-up, it's got graphics RHI DirectX 12. If you've not got DirectX 12 there to enable it, you need to go to edit, project settings, scroll all the way down to platforms and then go to windows and change default RHI to be DirectX 12 as you can see here. And once you've got that enabled, you might need to restart Unreal, I'm not sure, but once you've got that enabled, we can now use Nanite. Now there are a few different ways to actually enable Nanite on your meshes and I'm going to be covering those today. So let's first find a mesh that we want to enable Nanite on. So I'm going to use the start content and then I'm going to go to props and I'm just going to use this static mesh rock that we have here. So you notice we've just got this rock like so. Now Nanite isn't necessary for this rock because it's very small, it's not got a lot of polys or anything like that. However, Unreal have also said that it just enable Nanite wherever you can, wherever it's possible, because it will still just make rendering a lot quicker anyway. But once again, to enable Nanite, what we can do, the first method, is right click on the asset in the content browser, go to Nanite up in the top, and then press enable. And you notice that it kind of flashed there for you, it might recompile the shaders, and we've now got Nanite enabled. What I'm going to do is disable that, and then show you the second method. The second method is open up the static mesh, and in the static mesh editor here, we have Nanite settings on the right, and we can just tick enable Nanite support, saving that like so. And I'm also going to apply the new LODs, which is doing automatically. But the benefit of doing any content browser is I can select multiple assets, right click, Nanite and enable Nanite all of these. That's just a lot quicker and easier for me and you'll notice it's now recompiling the shaders of them. If I just drag this in it's going to look a little bit weird until it's compiled the shaders and then it will look perfectly normal once again. It's just kind of calculating everything it needs to do to make this run nice and efficiently. And now the third method of enabling Nanite is to actually enable it on import of the asset. So to test this one out what I'm going to do is I'm going to import a car model I've got off CG Trader which I'll leave a link to in the description down below. So on our import options here, all we need to do is just tick build Nanite and that is then going to enable Nanite for us automatically on this asset. So press import all, it's going to import everything which I have in this FBX, which is multiple different assets here and the materials and all of these are going to have Nanite enabled on them. So now you might be wondering, well how do I know I've got Nanite enabled on these without having to constantly open them up and check to see if Nanite is enabled. What we can do is up in the top left where we have lit, we're going to select it, go down to nanite visualization and you can press overview and then you can see up here what we have in our scene. Or what I like to do is nanite visualization and then triangles and then we can see it just in the scene here, what we have nanite enabled on and you can actually see what these are doing as well. You can see all the different triangles which is being used. And so that is pretty much it, all I'm going to be covering today, we've gone over what nanite is how to enable it in your project and three different methods of enabling it on your different assets and what I can do is obviously I enabled it on some of these as well I can drag them in 
But if I drag in something which I've not enabled it on, so let's say this table, that's just going to appear black. We're not going to see it. I can also see with the rest of the assets we have in here. But if I were to then select that table once again, and then if I were to right click Nanite Enable, you'll notice it now appears here like so. So I think that'll be it for this video. As we've gone over everything we've wanted to do, what we've done is again, like I just said, we've enabled Nanite and we're now using it for everything we want to do. So as you saw, this is a very quick and easy process to do, but it will make your games run a lot better and also look a lot better as well because it allows you to have more detail on these assets too. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.